Hi, good morning, everyone. So in this video, I will tell you about uh, one issue and solution. So how the issue comes and uh, how we are going to resolve that. So the issue is something like, you can see this is MD04 screen slash and MD04. I gave the material and uh, it has uh, POs and requirement stock, everything 747 in positive way. So for my testing, I wanted to have more requirement. So we are using the MRP manual reorder point. So what will I do? I will increase the reorder point to 3000 so that uh, requirement is more. So this is the easiest way how you can generate the requirement without creating sales orders or STOs and all. So now I'm going to run MD02 uh, 11 want to get a PR only. So I'm running MRP. So once you run MRP, now we'll go to MD04. Okay. System created only one purchase requisition. Although I maintained in quota arrangement, although I maintained the two vendors. See, I maintained two vendors, 50, 50 percentage, but uh, still system didn't consider uh, two vendors and it created only one. So if you check that, see, so system considered only one vendor and it created the total quantity. What is the reason? So the issue is you created, you maintained Quart arrangement properly, and you did all the other uh, required configurations. And um, but uh, when you verify that uh, MRP run system created only one purchase requisition for the whole quantity, but it didn't split it. So how to do that? So now what we are going to do? We will analyze that first. We'll go with the material master MM02. And uh, you can use MRP2, give your plant. Okay, procurement type is F. So you are procuring for multiple vendors, means it's uh, recommended to keep it F. Okay, if you are procuring uh, with one vendor and um, in house uh, uh, external both, then you can use X. But uh, if you're using more for external procurement, use F so that it will give you more flexibility too. A procure from multiple vendors okay so now uh, this is fine and uh, the solution where i found is i'm going to show you now go to mrp1 and uh, lot for lot order quantity you can directly go to the configuration of lot for lot uh, procedure or else you can use with f1 also you can go there go to spro reference img so let me activate uh, the spotlight. Okay. So then go to material management. In material management, go to consumption based planning. Go to planning, lot size calculation. After planning, lot size calculation, go to define lot processor and then MRP lot size. This is already opened in another screen so that uh, it is saying it is already open. So where is I opened it? Yes, here I opened. Let me close it. So go to the my configuration. Yeah, click on MRP lot size. I'm using EX, right? Click on EX. Okay, here there is a two options are there. Lot size in short time, short term horizon. You have to activate the splitting quota, long term and short term. You can activate the splitting quota checkbox. If there is no splitting quota system, although you maintain properly uh, MEQ1 everything, so like how we maintained it. So although you maintain, still system, say again 50 50. Okay. So although everything you have done, but still system will not split properly. So now we maintained it. The solution is maintain lot size. 
and uh, if you go to MD04 and see, okay, so one, first of all, what we need to do, we need to delete this PR. So either you can delete manually or else you can change the master data and delete it. So let's not go to the master data. If you go into Metal Master and change the MRP, uh, that uh, reorder point to one, okay. So, for example, if you change to one and run MRP, that uh, that way also you can delete it. But in real time, uh, you don't go to Metal Master and change because master data changes definitely you will have a more challenges. So that you go and delete the PR. So the requirement is gone. Okay. So refresh. So PR has gone. Only seven forty seven is there, but your requirement is. 3000 overall requirement. Now go and check um, cot arrangement MEQ1. So 5050, both are having 0 and 0. So now go to MD02 and 1 and 1. Click enter. So MRP run has happened. Go to MD04. Okay. So I'm uh, more giving you in a way of that one, you are familiar with the transaction codes and we are focusing on issue and solution. So we are not uh, freshers who are learning first uh, SAP, what is quota arrangement and all. So this issue and solutions always I mentioned, right? If you want to check uh, real time issues and solutions and anything, you first you need to learn all the basics, everything. That's why I'm a little faster I'm explaining, but I hope you got what are the transactions I used it. And uh, if you're not very clear, you can watch the video again. So see, system created the two purchase requisitions and 601 for 50% and uh, three for 50% Okay. So this is the way how a uh, system um, created, for example, that uh, see first it has uh, taken. So it split for the two uh, vendors, uh, the configuration EX, it should be available and the uh, external procurement uh, F, you give it and when you run MRP based on the requirement, you maintain the quota arrangement for the two vendors. So system created two purchase requisitions. I hope in this video you learned uh, about uh, fixing an issue and how we have fixed it. And I'm going to release a new video on a quota arrangement. What are the setup and how, we, how are you going to do it and all. So before closing, uh, let's go to ME you one and what changes happened from earlier to now okay see here 50 percent allocated quantity so always allocated quantity will be given based on the open uh, requirements now it has one pr for 1127 and it has one pr for uh, 1126 so because of that reason uh, system has uh, shown this uh, data okay see, it is cool. yeah so it was showing the the both the quantities so this was the one issue and the solution, how you can work on, what are the areas you need to verify when you maintain it. Okay. Thanks for watching and I will keep updating these kind of a short issue and solutions. Thank you.